yeah, yeah. You see the bird on my helmet, yeah. We going back to the NFC. E A G L E S belt on my chest. We the best in the entire league, yeah. The Mac Daddy got two rings, so it's time to get another one, yeah. I do it for Philly, I'm loving this city. Let's make a Super Bowl run, yeah, yeah. What is good, Mac family? It's the one and only Eli Mac. We are back with another Madden 22 face of the franchise video, bro. We are lit. Damn, bro. <clears throat> yeah, bro, I'm a little sick. I ain't gonna cap, bro. But it does not matter because we are here with another face of the franchise video, bro. And listen, bro, look at the freaking subscribers we got right now, bro. We currently at 499K. Let's hit half a million subscribers and start off Madden 23 the right way because it's coming out really soon, bro. Start off at Madden 23 with half a million subs, bro. We're gonna roll to a million, bro. No cap. I got a lot of different cool ideas I got coming for the, you know, say next year's Madden stuff. Bro, so hopefully we can just go crazy, bro. And um, yeah, man, just run it up, bro. No cap, try to hit a million. No cap, you know how we're coming. Yes, yeah, sir. Last episode was literally absolutely insane, bro. You guys remember, we literally got a tie on our record, bro. We literally got a tie. This is the first time ever in my entire like ever playing Madden in my entire life. I have never gotten a tie, bro. I either always won or lost. Like, I feel like a tie is so dumb, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't, it's like, bro, I feel like there should be no ties in sports. I feel like, bro, it's either a better team or a worse team. But by the way, do you guys like my new hairstyle? You know what I'm saying? Little twist, you dig me? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, man. Stop playing. Ties are so dumb. Dumb, and we literally have a time right you guys can look at the screen bro we are six and two and one bro ew it keeps so bit on that but like that looks so nasty but like i don't know if i should be like happy that is not a loss or mad that it's not a win it's just like in the middle bro and it's just there like everybody else's record looks normal right look like they got you know what i'm saying but our record looks weird as hell bro like what the fuck? but yeah but not only that we ended up playing the cowboys back to back bro which was absolutely insane bro you know what i'm saying like those are divisional games now listen bro you guys know i said it last episode i might retire after the season i'm not really sure yet all i know is bro we really 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 Really, 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 really must win a Super Bowl this year, bro, because you guys know, my great-grandfather, he used to play for the Philadelphia Eagles in Madden 20, the original Mac Daddy, bro, and I'm doing this for him. I joined the Eagles because I'm doing this for him, and I'm even freaking paying tribute by using his old intro, bro. The old Eagles, it, freaking Eagles, that I made in 2019, bro, back when I was broke, you know what I'm saying, sleeping in my mom's house, bro, sharing a room with my sister, had to blow a bed behind me. You guys remember that, bro, back in the day, I made that intro, bro, and now to be able to use that same intro years later, bro, it's low-key a blessing, bro. It's crazy, bro, because you know, that means it's still fire, bro, no cap, and also, I'm paying and tribute to my great grandfather, bro. So listen, he went to the Eagles and he won a championship. I want to do the same exact thing, bro. No cap. So boom, you guys see, bro. We are the sixth best team in the league, bro, which is really good. We're actually playing an amazing football right now. Bro. We're very, very high up on the total. Bro. We're the sixth team in the league. We're six, two, and one, unfortunately. But if you look at our division, bro, the football team, the Washington football team, Redskins, Commanders, whatever the hell you want to call them, bro, they are 0 and 9. These guys are literally dog water, but they actually suck. But they're 0 and 9, bro. They have no wins, bro. The Giants are 4 and 5, which is my favorite team in real life, but in the game we hate them because I play for the Eagles. <laughs> no cap. They're four and five, so the record is not good, bro. The 22 worst team in the league, bro. If you look, actually, the football team is actually the worst team in the entire league. You look at the 32nd team, the only 32 teams in the league. But if you look at the Cowboys, bro, they are actually good, bro. They're seven, two, and one. The reason they have a tie is because we tied with them, bro, the first time we played. So, you know what I'm saying? We pretty much got the same record as them. They just played one more game than us so far. But they are the fifth best team. We are right behind them at six, bro. So I ain't gonna lie, we're in a freaking hefty, hefty divisional type of rivalry with the Cowboys right now or the Cowgirls, whatever you want to call them, bro. And we're gonna have to step it up and try to make some things happen, bro. And try to make some things shake, bro. We need to, bro. No cap. Boom, bro. You guys see, we are playing up against the Jackson Bill. Jaguars, bro. Literally the first team to ever give me a chance. Literally the first team to ever freaking draft me, bro. They literally drafted me, bro. You guys remember the intro. The number one pick, MD3. Woo! And matter of fact, Akeem, run the intro for the Jaguars real quick, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The number one pick, MD3. That's who they came to see. I am a beast. I am an animal. Yeah, they let me off for the leash. The Jaguars never been to the Super Bowl. So I gotta go and make history. They say I'm too small. They say I'm too weak. But I would never let it get to me. Like, yeah, M A C K D A D D Y. I'm doing this for my father. I would never ever quit to the day that I die. M A C K D A D D Y. I'm doing this for my father. I would never ever quit to the day that I die. You guys just heard that, bro. The freaking Jacksonville Jaguars intro. It was so legendary, bro. These guys literally put me on, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lie, bro. Ever since I left them, bro, like you guys remember, bro, I think they've been to like four or five Super Bowls without me, bro. And they went to like two with me. So like, bro, these guys, ever since I joined and made them like a bomb squad, they are super nice now, bro. These guys are like literally goaded, bro. And like, they just don't lose a lot, bro. And they always tend to make it to the playoffs. And they pretty much always make it to the Super Bowl, which is kind of crazy. I played in the Super Bowl a couple times, like what, two or three times already in my career. So I just can't get enough of these guys. These guys has been a part of my life 
literally my whole career, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, whether I'm playing with them or against them, but I'm always somehow back with the freaking Jaguars, bro. So let's go ahead and play this damn season game, bro. We ain't doing no practice. We're going to show you this game. I'm pretty sure there's still a high overall. Yep, there's still an 89. Look at that, bro. There's still a freaking 89, bro. These guys has never dropped, bro. These guys has been goaded ever since, like, I left, bro. Like, I swear to God, like, damn. It's like, bro, can you get trash, bro, or something, bro? Like, damn, you're making me jealous, bro. No cow. All right, bro. Like I told you guys, bro, playing up against my old team has always, bro, like, the, not even my old team, because I've played for multiple teams. So no other team like the, the 49ers or, you know, no other team gives me a challenge, bro. Like the freaking these this oh my let's go freaking water bro let's go my boy let's freaking go to my eight stop playing bro big freaking stuff man but listen no team not, like out of all my old teams bro I would definitely say the Jacksonville Jaguars always gives me the toughest freaking challenge because they're such a good like you guys have to understand when I joined them they were trapped like so guys I'm gonna teach you guys something you probably don't know this but like bro like if a team gets the number one pick in a draft that's because they were the worst team like they had the worst record and they were just like the most trashiest you know what I'm saying so the thing is I got drafted first pick i got drafted in the first round number one overall bro you know what i'm saying so so what does that mean that means i got drafted to the worst team of the previous year right and that team was the jacksonville jaguars so with that being said bro when i joined the jaguars bro the year before that bro their record let's freaking go my boy their record was so doodle bro their record was booty thraka you know what i'm saying oh bro freaking injuries bro bro stop getting injured bro it's not that serious i'm tired of my teammates always getting injured bro like seriously bro but yeah but like i was saying bro when i joined this team bro like the i'm talking about i'm not talking about the eagles i'm talking about the jacksonville jaguars they were really bad bro they didn't have too many good players nothing it was just a lot of bad things going on with that team and um bro i'm not gonna lie after a couple seasons of grinding and working our way up let's freaking go number 19 we're marching down the field right now four for four 59 yards i absolutely love the way we're playing football but let's keep it up bro let's go but like i was saying i'm low-key doing the same play too right now i'm not even gonna lie like you know saying back to back i just feel like it's gonna work again rb's gonna be water for a touchdown never mind but my boy a's water no almost do a pick but like i was saying bro like bro when I joined this team, they were like not good, bro. They were basically booty for Bro, block for me. Almost threw another pick, bro. What are y'all doing? I'm trying, bro, we're, bro. See, see, this is why I don't get excited, bro. I literally just said, bro, we're playing good. We're marching down the field. You know what I'm saying? Everything looking all good and good. Bro, as soon as I said that, look what happens, bro. Like people start not getting open. I'm, they're not blocking anymore. That's why I don't get excited, but that's why I just like to keep, just keep everything like low key, you know what I'm saying? But then again, if you do that in life, you'll just never be excited. And if you're never excited, bro, you never have that to look forward to, and then you'll just have a bad life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big first down, good catch right there, bro. Easy freaking work. First and goal. Let's get this touchdown, bro. Run and join up. Let's get it. Run it up like little TJ. Run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Damn, I talk a lot. Jesus Christ, how do y'all watch me? But listen, bro. Oh my God, bro, somebody get up. Why am I That's too easy. That's freaking goal number two. Stucky, my boy, too easy, bro. Stop playing, bro. That number two in your jersey, I used to wear that same number. But not no more, because I got five rings and you got zero. So mess with me. All right, bro. They came on and scored, bro. 17 to 7, bro. All right, let me just finish my sentence. Oh, my God. They're blitzing, bro. Like I was saying, bro. So when I first joined, matter of fact, I don't, I don't care right now. Hold on. Let me, let me finish this. I know I'm leaving y'all hanging, bro. But I, bro! The unblocks are crazy, bro. The fact that you aren't blocking is literally, like, ticking me off, bro. Like, I'm, I just don't get it, bro. I swear to God, bro. Come on, man. Bro, hurry up, offense. Yes, why? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's not a first down, though. Hurry up, offense. Hurry up, offense. Hurry up, offense. We're going to punt it. Oh, my God, coach. Oh, thank you. We got the ball back. All right, guys. We got 35 seconds, bro, to try to put up freaking. Oh, my God. Look how close we are, bro. We can actually do it. Okay, okay. All right, come on, come on. 35 seconds, bro. Just play smart. Everything smart. Everything easy. Bro, I hate the fact that, oh my God, B by himself, I see you. No! Oh my God, I almost threw another pick, bro. <sighs> Second and 10. Come on, bro, somebody get open. B by himself, too easy. That's freaking number four. No, he dropped. Oh my God, bro, my teammates, bro, literally, bro, tick me off sometimes. That's all right, bro. If we don't get the first, we'll take our three. It'll be 10 to 17, which is actually not bad. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, eight by seven, four. Get it, get it, Let's freaking go. Stop. With us. You see the bird on my helmet? Yeah, we going back to the NFC. But now that I'm in a little bit more comfortable position, I can finally finish my sentence I've been trying to say for the past 20 minutes. All right, so listen, bro. Um, basically, when I joined the Jaguars, they were really trash, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of trades happened and like good things over the years. And I ended up turning that team. I think I think the max was like a 92 overall. Bro, we were just a bomb squad. Like winning the Super Bowl, I think we were undefeated. Like winning the Super Bowl was just too easy at that point. So like, I had to leave because like it just would have been too easy. Like the team was just that good, you know what I'm saying? But I did that. I built that. I put that team on my back and I did it, bro. I got them their first ever Super Bowl, bro. Actually, I think they never even been to the Super Bowl before me, bro. I, if I'm not mistaken, bro. And I, I brought them to their first Super Bowl and also made them win their first Super Bowl. Oh my God, he caught it, but he didn't get his feet in. But yeah, bro. So the fact that this team is like still good, it just kind of like, 
I don't want to say I like regret leaving, you know what I mean? Because like, you know what I'm saying? I've won a lot of championships myself. I got five rings, you know what I'm saying? I've done a lot of good. I'm, I'm a legend, you know what I'm saying? I'm MD3. Like everybody knows who I am. I'm just a GOAT, you know what I'm saying? So it's okay, bro, you know what I'm saying? That I left, like I, st I still am doing amazing, but <clears throat> there's just a part of me that feels like I could that could have been like my Lakers for Kobe, you know what I mean? Like, you know how Kobe stayed with one team for his whole career? You know what I'm saying? He never switched up and he won all his rings with that one team and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if I would have did that, that kind of could have been cool, but I just would have stayed with the Jags, you know what I'm saying? The team who gave me a chance, the team who drafted me, that when they drafted me, they were so trash, and I literally like <clears throat> turned that organization upside down, bro, and literally just changed everything around and got them, you know, and imagine I got them like five, six rings, bro. Like, that just would have been so legendary. Like, before me, they didn't even know what a Super Bowl looked like. And after me, to have five, six, seven rings, that would have been like the most legendary thing, bro. I feel like personally, but you know what I'm saying? You, you're thinking about life, bro, is you can't like, you know what I'm saying, dwell on the past and stuff like that. You can't be by yourself too easy. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, bro. It's too easy. Once we get in the red zone, we does this, bro. Do not let us in the red zone. We the red zone bandits, boy. Oh, God, bro. They came out and they scored again, bro. 24 to 21. So I think it's going to be one of those, bro. One of those close games. Of course, it's against my old team. Of course, like just of course everything, but like I, this, it seems like I just can't catch a break in Madden anymore. But like I don't really get blowouts anymore. I don't really get like lucky. It's just like let's go, good catch. Let's freaking go number two. Let's go, Stucky. Oh my god, you should have broke that tackle off thirty eight. You could have dipped before TD, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Listen, bro. Twelve for nineteen, one hundred eighty nine yards, bro. Literally cooking up right now. Everybody throw them damn fours up because we get into the fourth quarter right here, right now, which is the most important quarter because you gotta think about it, bro. We need to score we need to put up points we need to make this happen bro because we are losing right now you know what i'm saying so let's go wide by ourselves too easy number two number two stuffy number two has been literally cooking up and being so clutch all right come on bro. let's get this down rocking big first and go bro come on oh that's all you that's all you let's go let's go number 81 let's freaking go stop playing with us bro we are literally too freaking lit my boy austin hooper i swear to god bro i think that's my favorite tight end of all time this is annoying bro these comebacks i think it's so stressful bro like i know you guys like them because like it's like and you know it's like uh interesting i think i get it. let me know in the comments is it more interesting when i'm blowing people out or more interesting when it's close games like what do you guys generally like to watch me personally i like blowouts just because like i don't know i like them because i'm playing so like it feels like it feels good to know that i'm gonna win but when i don't know i'm gonna win bro like my heart be pounding bro my anxiety be going up bro like you know what i'm saying it's kind of tough bro i mean hey this is life right you know what i'm saying Oh my god, A by himself. Oh my god, I love that. I love that number four. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, let's freaking go. They are calling a timeout. You know why? Because we are literally only freaking two points losing, bro. So you know what that means? But listen, bro, if we get a field goal right now, we will win this game, bro. Coach wants me to run it, and I'm kind of scared because I don't want to fumble. But I have to listen to my Oh my god, I thought I was about to fumble. Jesus Christ, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That would have been bad, cold. Get him out of here. Bro, what happened to Solo Manati, guys? Like, bro, that's usually my favorite YouTuber. All right, but second and 13, got one timeout left. Uh, we're gonna try to run the ball again, obviously. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna win this with a sneaky field goal. I think that's what's gonna have to happen. Never mind, never mind. David Bridal. David Bridal with the first down. That is ball game, bro. We're literally gonna run this clock all the way to zero and end it with a walk-off field goal, bro. Stop playing with us, bro. We are freaking lit, my boy. Freaking David Kelly, bro. Freaking David's Bridal, bro. Freaking Kelly Price, my boy, bro. Stop playing with us, man. Hand out to my boy, man. That's all you. All you. Let's go, David Kelly. Let's freaking go. Let the clock run down. Let the clock run down. Let's freaking go, bro. We are too lit. 35 seconds left. I'm going to let the clock run down a little bit, a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Give them no opportunity to score. And I, I don't even know why I'm excited because we're actually still losing. So I need to like, be careful. The same thing happened. Never mind. Freaking David's bridal with the touchdown. 34 to freaking 30. Walk off touchdown to win the game, I'm pretty sure. Unless they score in 23 seconds, which I'm pretty sure is impossible. They almost scored. They left one second on the clock. Look how close they were. Holy. <laughs> we almost lost, but we did it. A big freaking comeback. What a freaking close, intense crazy game let's freaking go mv3 that's what i love to freaking see baby that's what we need big w's and big wins only bro stop playing man let's go ahead and check everything out and get into the next freaking game bro we teed up man all right bro we are out here in freaking pittsburgh bro and i ain't gonna lie it is cold as a mug bro i don't know if y'all can see bro but it was literally freaking like you know what is that called bro is it called smoke because smoke is like I don't like smoke. I know. Let's freaking go, David Kelly. Oh my God, big run, but it's a flag. I think it's gonna be holding, bro. Oh my, bro. I'm tired of people holding. But next time you hold, literally gonna hold your nuts and give them to your mom and make her. Never mind, bro. Just stop holding, bro. That's so annoying, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Damn. But yeah, bro. It's not called smoke because smoke is like what comes out of like you know chimneys or like cigarettes or something like you know. So like no human just produces smoke out of their mouth. So what is it? like what is it called? Is it called frost or air or oxygen? Damn, I'm actually confused. But wait. All right. So if you guys zoom in, right? Do you see like the stuff coming out of our mouth? Like the, the white stuff? Like what is that? What is it called? Breath? 
Is it called just like breath? Your breath? But nobody's breath is that like potent, bro. I don't know, bro. I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had a 1.8 GPA in high school. I wasn't smart. My teachers told me I wasn't gonna be anything, bro. And I kind of believed them, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Then I, then, I, then I started rapping. I told them I was gonna be a rapper. They didn't believe I was gonna be popping, bro. Crazy, cause look where we at now. And it's crazy, cause actually last year I actually did a speech at my old high school, talking to all the kids and inspiring them, cause a lot of them watching my videos. So it's like, damn, it's crazy how life can turn. You know what I'm saying? Teachers tell you won't be nothing, and then you be something, and you go back to the high school, and it's like, look, man, I did, Sean, cuz I did it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not that little bum you thought I was gonna be, cuz. Now, nah, but all jokes aside, though, bro, I, I was actually smart. I just like didn't. I kind of like gave up on school towards the end, like. You know what I'm saying? I want to just be a rapper. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was really broke and poor and stuff, bro. And I had a lot of bad things going on in my life, bro. Like, really bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just made me, like, not really a happy person, bro. So, like, school was just, like, kind of trash to me. Um, I had my friends, of course. But, like, other than my friends, like, bro, I was, I was kind of depressed. I'd come home. I'd come to school with, like, bloody knuckles and stuff. Because I used to, like, I used to, like, punch walls and punch stuff and break things and stuff. And, like, my teachers would be worried about me. Like, yo, what's going on with you? Like, what's up? I'd be all, like, quiet and, like dark and stuff and just not talking to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I had a laptop, you know what I mean? And um, I used to bring it to school, bro, and I used to just write songs, bro, just write music all day, bro. Bro, let's go, let's freaking go, let's stuck here. Oh my God, what a freaking hell of a catch, bro. But yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to bring my to school, I used to just go in the corner, like, I'd be at lunch, bro, and I'd just sit by myself just writing a bunch of raps. And I still got a lot of the papers, bro. And the raps I wrote were very, like, bro, I used to just rap about, like, how, like, my dad wasn't around and, like, how I'm broke and I'm poor and I'm just angry and I just, like, want to make it and I'm just, like, so sad and stuff. And, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, man. So basically, I wasn't really focused on school. So I actually came to a point where, you know, I was failing algebra, guys. I was failing algebra, and I was also failing chemistry as a senior in high school. And um, my mom really, really wanted me to get my advanced diploma. She was like, freaking go, bro. Stop playing too freaking easy, bro. Stop playing with us, bro. We turned up, man. So, bro, I had a friend, right? And my friend sold this guy a Gucci belt, right? And he told the guy, listen, the guy was like, listen, bro, I don't have any money for your Gucci belt right now, but I'm going to get paid, and I'm going to pay you. But can I just have the belt? until then because I just want it now. My friend was like, all right, bet, you know, I'll give you the belt and you know, say so you can kind of borrow it until you pay me. And then, you know, say so then it's fully as yours once you actually pay me. So, um, you know, long story short, my friend, you know, gives him the belt and uh, hold on, hold on, Austin Hooper. That's all you, Austin Hooper. Let's freaking go, good kid. That's why I love him, bro. He doesn't drop anything. He's literally the most goaded tight end, bro. Nine for nine, hundred thirty dollars and a freaking touchdown, bro. But listen, bro, he, you know saying? He gave him the belt and, um, you know what I'm saying? Like he didn't want to, um, he, he started to like be weird and like dodge him and like not pay him his money. And my friend was like, bro, like, what are you doing, bro? Like, pay me my damn money, bro. It's been like a week at this point. So he's like, bro, I'm gonna pay you, I'm gonna pay you. Just never paying him, whatever, right? So boom. So one day my friend, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't go to school. Um, My friend who, who you know what I'm saying? Who, who is owed the money. Oh, let me score this touchdown. Awesome. Freaking go. Stop playing with us, bro. 14 to zip. We blowing these bums out right now, bro. This is what I love to see, bro. Literally sitting here telling a story time. Holy crap, bro. All right, man, let's get in field goal range, bro, and secure this dub. He's gonna fill the range of security stuff. Another close game back to back is crazy, bro. Like, damn, can I get a break, bro? Jesus. Let's go, ND3. Let's go, ND3. Good run. Let's freaking go. No fumbles, bro. Timeout again, bro. We're in a 30. Five yard line right now, bro. This is amazing, bro. We're literally almost in field goal range, bro. I think we actually, I think we actually are in field goal range, bro. If I'm not mistaken, bro. Let me get this rocking. Come on. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yes, 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 yes. Blah blah. Oh my God. ND3. Yes. Oh my God. Touchdown in the last 30 seconds again, just like last game, a clutch touchdown in the last 30 seconds to hopefully secure our win. Yes, bro, we came out and scored by a freaking touchdown. Let's go, MD3, freaking cook it up, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We were playing some amazing football recently, bro. I'm absolutely loving it, bro. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. All right, man, you guys see me out here, bro, talking to my big kitty kitty coach. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It feels pretty cool to have him as my coach, bro, because he is a legend, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh, John Gruden, you know what I'm saying? One of the best coaches of all time, but definitely gonna go in the Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that he's even still a coach, you know what I'm saying, in 2029 is crazy. And not only that, the fact that, you know what I'm saying, he's my coach is pretty crazy too. Bro, like, I like twists, bro, but I hate when they start coming out, bro. Like, I don't even know why, bro. Like, that's gonna be annoying, but like, she won't be my girl now. I think she like my sound. I gotta figure her out. Oh my ex, we'll freak off somebody. Let's go, my boy. You want to break that damn tackle too, man. How you break a tackle, but get tackled by the freaking guy that you broke his tackle? That don't make no damn sense, bro. And that's a tongue twister. And I like to twist my tongue too, if you know what I mean. <laughs>
But y'all are sus, bro. I was gonna say something, but y'all were gonna like, I know y'all were gonna think that I meant something sus, and that's not what I meant, bro. Like, I was talking about like what ice cream and stuff, but you guys are weird, bro. Like, that's why I can't even say anything, but I swear, bro. Let's freaking go. Good catch number 19. Cook up, bro. I really do really like these jerseys a lot, too. We are losing 3 to 0, by the way, but um, I really like these jerseys. Probably my favorite jerseys on this team. Reason, uh, that's the reason I only wore it like once or twice. I don't like to wear my favorite jerseys too much because then I get too used to it. So freaking easy though. The way we just came and marched down this damn field against these Buccaneers. Guys, bro, every day, bro, I've been seeing like two, 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 three, 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 one, one, one. Like, bro, it's so annoying. It's not, not annoying, but it's like insane, bro. Like, I be getting, I be getting signs from my spirits and stuff like that, bro. Like, spirit, like my father, my uncle, stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get, I get signs from your numbers and there's so many things that like I be thinking about something or like. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then they'll come to me with numbers and give me a hint or a sign that what I'm thinking is, you know what I'm saying, what it is. You know what I'm saying? It'll just be like crazy, bro. Like, be a lot of stuff, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure, you know what I'm saying? If you guys are into that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you, you know what I'm saying, find your purpose, bro. You know what I mean? And, and figure it out because everybody got a gift. I'm telling you, I swear to God, bro. Real talk, bro. And there's been some crazy things that has happened, bro. Like, that's real paranormal, bro. Real paranormal, like, in a good way, bro. Like, I don't know if you guys know, bro, but like, Androids, right? Obviously, on Androids, you don't get red receipts. Like, you know what I'm saying? On Androids, like, if you have an Android, like, you can't see if somebody read your message. Like, Androids don't do that. I don't even think it says delivered when you text somebody on the Android, to be honest. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for my iPhone. Bro, come on. Let me lock in real quick, bro. Hold on. Second and 12. 47 seconds. I'm trying to put up some points again before before the halftime. Come on, come on. I should have hit A. I should have hit A, but it's alright though. Let's go. We good, man. We good. Let's go, man. First down. Let's go, bro. Let's go first and ten. Right here. Let's keep winning. Let's keep playing winning football. Slide. Let's freaking go, bro. Too easy, bro. Hurry up offense too. So we can save our timeouts. We save them because we don't need them. We don't need them. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Stop freaking playing, bro. We are literally too freaking lit, bro. We are literally goaded, bro. Stop playing with us. We're not be coming, man. We literally winning every game, bro. I don't care about how close they are. We're gonna win. 14 to freaking three, bro. This is low key. It can become a blow if we can somehow put up some more points. So let's just keep on playing smart. Keep on running the clock out for more David Kelly. Let's freaking go too easy. Let me continue the story, right? So boom. So like, if you text the Android, it doesn't say like deliver or anything like that or red, right? So like, they literally have no red receipts. Like it doesn't do red. It doesn't, like this does not. It doesn't exist on Android, right? So. So guys, like, my, so my father, right, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you guys know he passed away and stuff. Rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? My dad, um, I found out that he passed. I just seen 222 again, bro. It's crazy, bro. But I just found out that, I, I mean, I found out that he passed in January of 2020. Actually, the day I hit 100K subs, which is crazy. That's when I found out about him passing away. But he actually passed away in November of 2019. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'd been passed away. So it's just that we didn't know. Um, for some reason, nobody told me just messed up right of his own son nobody told me everybody just kept it a secret so you know what i'm saying 2019 november like I, that was a big time for me. i remember i did like i think i did my first video with your boy pizza i hit 20k that month um subscribers you know what i'm saying the next month i went to 60k like it was crazy like i was grinding so hard 2019 like you guys remember the original mac daddy like all that stuff bro that's when i first started doing trash talk no you freaking bum you fumbled that and look look what the time ends on 111 bro this is crazy bro my father's listening to me bro i swear to god i'm telling you bro i see this every day all day 111 222 333 i'm always seeing these freaking signs bro and i'm talking about my father and then the clock just happens to stop on 111 bro that's crazy look at that bro i'm telling you bro this, I'm, this, i can't make this up bro i swear to god bro like i was saying bro i'm saying he um hold on bro oh my god let me lock in real quick bro i ain't gonna lie that this conversation is getting me a little emotional so hold on let me lock in the score before i let's go all you let's go all you my boy 81 austin freaking hooper 21 to 3 that should be game but it should be over by now bro literally bro but like i said bro so you know what i'm saying he passed away in november which is crazy because i remember one it was one night in november bro um I was still broke. Yes, I had 20K subs, but I was not making money yet, bro. Um, you feel me? Like, I think I think when I had 20K, I think November, yeah, in November I made, which is a lot of money, but it took a long time to get here. I made $700 that month, November, 2019. The month before that, I made like $300. The month before that, I made like 100, month, like, you know, 80, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, but November, I had made 700, bro. And then guess what? In December, I made three bands, $3,000, bro. Feel me? So like, it was crazy. Like, obviously since then, like, you know what I'm saying? I've grown a lot more and stuff and whatever, you know what I mean? But back then to me, that was crazy. Like, it was so nuts, but I made $700, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing and stuff. But before the $700 had came in, 
you know, I was broke, I didn't have any money yet because you get paid on a, on a certain day every month, once a month as a YouTuber. So I didn't have any money. I remember like just being super hungry, bro, and just like broke. And I just like, I was hungry as hell, bro. My stomach was hurting, I was grinding all day. And for some reason I was just so sad, bro. And I, I didn't understand why I was sad, bro. Like I just couldn't help it. I was just so sad. I went to the beach, bro. And I was listening to, um, I was listening to Lonely Child by Youngboy. I was listening to Love Thy Enemies and Xanax Damage by Future. And I was listening to, um, I think it was a couple Rod Wave songs at the time from his uh, from his Ghetto Gospel album. Balling my eyes out, bro. Just crying, bro. Just crying, bro. For literally like an hour straight, bro. Like it doesn't seem like a long time, but an hour straight of I'm talking uh, weeping, bro. Like noises, bro. Like the type of cries that make make you make noises, bro. As a grown man, you feel me? Like, and I'm like, what is wrong with me, bro? Why am I so sad right now, bro? Like. I know I'm hungry and stuff and I'm broke, but that don't make me cry. Like I've been broke, I've been hungry my whole damn life. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the f like, bro. So now nah, boom, I say that to say this. Little did I know my father had just passed away. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that same day, to be honest. Um, but I didn't know. But I guess my spirit knew, you know what I mean? And like my energy knew that like, I lost my father. So like, bro, you see the time again? 111, bro, I swear to God, I cannot make this up, bro. I'm about to f cry in this Bro, I swear to God, bro, I can't make this up, bro. Y'all see this, bro? This is crazy, bro. And I don't even, I don't even talk about this type of stuff on camera or YouTube because some people think it's weird. Y'all think it's like spiritual, spiritual, and like weird and stuff, bro. But nah, it's real, shit, bro. Look, one eleven, bro. Again, bro. I'm telling you, I just said I see it all the time, and I'm talking about my father, and I see it twice, bro. I'm telling you, bro. He hears me, bro. He's talking to me, bro. He's giving me signs that he's here, bro. He's here right now in this house, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could cry right now, bro. This is crazy. I got goosebumps. And Man. Yeah, bro. So November, right, comes around and so I'm crying that day. Little did I know I, my father had just passed, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's crazy, bro. And then uh, December, bro, I text him. I said, yo, Merry Christmas, dad. I still got a text message on my phone right now. In fact, I can show you how much. So mind you, Androids do not have read receipts. First off, he was, he was passed away already. So there's no way that he could have read it. And secondly, Androids don't do that. Like Androids don't say red, like only iPhones do it. And my father had an Android. You can tell he has green messages. Bro, I said, Merry Christmas, dad, right? He never hit me back. I called him, he didn't pick up. After I found out in January that he passed away, I came back to our messages, bro. And look, bro, the Merry Christmas, dad, literally, bro. Oh, can y'all see it? It says red underneath. He read it and he's not here, bro. He read my message and he has passed away. He was. He was already dead when he when he read that, bro. That don't make no sense, bro. That's spiritual, bro. I'm telling you, it's real. Like this stuff is not fake, bro. I had went to the beach when I found out he passed. I was crying and stuff, and I called like this one girl I was cool with at the time. Shout out to you, Mars. You know who you are. Uh, you know, I was like, bro, my dad. You know, what I'm saying she was there for me, and, she, and um, I sat down at this pizza spot on the Ave in Delray, and then there's a sign, there's a street sign that says Gleason Road or Gleason Avenue, something like that, and it's spelled G L E A S O N, right? So it's lit up at nighttime, it lights up. Tell me why the day that I found out my dad passed, I went to the beach and I was and I was chilling and I look up at the sign and G, L, E, and A were dark. And the only thing that was lit up was S, O, N, sun. So it's like half of the sign just stopped working, right? Like instead of the whole word being lit up, like you know how sometimes like, you know, like an open sign will be like, all lit up imagine just the o and the p are like not lit up and it's just en you see but you don't see the others the other so you're like what does this mean it, you, it's an open sign but the other you feel me so the g l e a was dark and the s o n was bright and that's all i seen was sun he was talking to me bro tell me bro it's real bro not a joke y'all just seen two instances bro of my dad not only talking to me but talking to y'all he's saying what's up bro say what's up to my father bro i know he's proud of us bro he's proud of me man He's talking to us, bro. He's like, I'm here, nigga. 111, twice, back to back. But um, that's it for this video. I just want to end it on a really weird note. I just, uh, I don't know. It's kind of therapeutic to talk to you guys about this. I don't really talk to people about this. People think I'm crazy. Oh my God, I swear to God, right now, I'm looking at my... My computer says I've been recording for one hour and 11 minutes. Let me show y'all, because y'all probably think I'm Catholic, bro. God, look. You see that? 111? 111, bro. On my phone right now, it says 111. 21 as long as i've been recording for an hour and 11 minutes this video can't make it up bro it's real this is, this is real man this is so real all right guys i love you guys so much man see you guys on the next one it's your boy you like mac gang gang <laughs>